Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be talking about some really interesting blockchain and Web3 related projects, but which have been built in Rust. Now, we've been learning Rust on my channel for quite some time now. And in case you don't know that, and in case you're new to this channel, please go to my channel and the playlists, and there's a playlist for 50 Rust projects. We've built about 12, 13 of those, uh, but we'll be building basically 50 Rust projects. And we've started with like a very basic project and we are uh, increasing the, the difficulty level. And this video I wanted to create because uh, many of you people who are learning Rust, but you don't know, you know, where you'll apply your knowledge. So I want to create this video especially for that because I just want to show you that Rust uh, is getting used in so many different places and so many places you'll be able to use uh, your Rust knowledge. Uh, so by by now, you probably already know that uh, the Solana blockchain, the Near protocol and Polkadot, all of them are built with Rust. Polkadot's uh, framework substrate which is used to build your own blockchains that's also built with rust now um, there are some projects that i want to talk about which are not very famous like as famous as solana near and all of those they're not very famous but they're still really important and rust is being used in a, in a really big way in the future rust will be really important it's really important right now in the future it will be very very important a lot of blockchain and web3 projects are being built with rust okay the first one i want to, I want to talk about is comet so it's it's a cross blockchain uh, network so uh, what, what they're saying is that there are many blockchains that already exist. So using Rust, they want to solve this problem of interoperability in the sense Monero should be able to talk to Bitcoin, should be able to talk to Ethereum, and the assets should be able to flow, flow between these different uh, blockchains. So they're saying that they want to connect all blockchains without creating uh, another blockchain, right? So a trustless way to basically talk between different blockchains. That's what they're building. Uh, here's their GitHub account. They have multiple projects. All of them are built with Rust, so you, it's really great. And you can go and check them out, check out their code, if you, in case you guys want to learn and all that. Uh, then the next one is Exonum, which um, is basically a uh, blockchain framework to help you build blockchains. Again, they have their um, GitHub repository here. Again, completely built with Rust, and it's it's very similar to. Uh, it's very similar to, I think, Hyperledger Fabric because it's, uh, th they say the same thing, right? Extensible open source framework for creating blockchain applications. And, um, you know, you, you basically give uh, the power of distributed ledgers to FinTech, gov government tech, legal tech, and you basically create permissioned blockchains, right? Hyperledger Fabric also helps you do a very similar, it has a very, very similar, um, what do you call it, value set. So what you can do, what you can say is Exonum is very similar to Hyperledger Fabric, right? But this is completely built with Rust. So this is uh, this was one more uh, you know that I want to talk about. Then you have Bonfida, which is a token vesting uh, tool, completely open source again, completely built with Rust again, and it's built for the Solana blockchain. So in case you want to launch a currency using Solana and you want to like your token sorry you're with using solana and then you want to vest in the sense you know how many tokens should be released at what point of time all of those things can be basically uh you know programmed with the help of uh, bonfida now bonfida is really interesting because the program isn't very big uh, it's, it's not a very huge huge uh, program okay and uh, it's it's mostly a cli tool uh, from what i can see but it also has a js component which which i think will have a little bit of front end and it's not a huge tool so what we can do probably on this channel is we can build bonfida from scratch uh, because i don't think it's very complex and there's just seven contributors and it's not a huge project so i think we can build it from scratch in case you want to do that let me know in the comments if you want to build something like bonfida from scratch very interesting project you can check it out check out the code um, so th that's Bonfida for you guys. Then is something very interesting. So right now, like you have Solidity for uh, building smart contracts for Ethereum. Uh, there's another language called Fee, F-E, that they've created. And you can create decentralized applications, which is basically dApps, which is basically smart contracts for Ethereum, right? So, so almost like a replacement or uh, another language to write on Ethereum uh, instead of Solidity. And uh, Solidity or Solidity, how, however you want to pronounce it, doesn't matter. It's now this language, the fee language, is completely built with Rust. Uh, isn't that awesome? So, and it has a lot of lot of features, right? It has Wasm, which we all love. It has many features like static looping and module imports. Obviously, module imports, all all languages have that. Uh, and 
I think this one is more important, precise gas estimations. That's like really important. And they have a clear, they had a clear roadmap for 2021. I'm, I'm sure they're doing a lot of work now also. You can see that they have commits like eight days ago and two, two days ago, four months ago. So they have a lot of contributors as well. Uh, they have quite a few stars as well, 1.2K stars. So it looks like a very, very, uh, you know, popular language, even, even though I have not used it. I've, and I've not heard a lot about it. Uh, but now I think I will try it out because it looks very popular. Looks like many people are using it. So this is quite interesting, right? Just something to know that uh, Solidity is not your only option. You also have Fee, which is built with Rust. So now, obviously, I'll I'll have to check it out really well. Then, then this is something that I've already known about. This is very, very popular, Aster. It's the future of smart contracts for multi-chain. In the sense, you build smart contracts, but you deploy to multiple uh, different blockchains like Polkadot and Ethereum and all of those, right? So this is the DAP hub for blockchains of the future. That's what they call themselves. So it's interoperable. So many people, many uh, companies are trying to solve the interoperability problem between multiple blockchains because all blockchains have their own ecosystems. Some are built with Rust, some are built with Golang. They have their own, uh, you know, way to write the code and, and smart contracts, all of that. So they're, they're also, Astro Network is also trying to solve the same similar problem with the help of, uh, you know, with the help of Rust. So it's, it's again, completely built with Rust. And what they're saying is you can deploy smart contracts and uh, you should be able to deploy to multiple networks, ideally, okay? So that's that's Astar. They have a really cool website. A lot of stuff happening. Uh, they also have a network portal. They have their own token, which is awesome. I think they have a lot of backers as well, uh, with Binance Labs and all these guys being their backers. It's, it's a big project. The one that I liked the most, and uh, even I have started, it's like 2.2 thousand stars, uh, and I, I also have started. It's, uh, I found it very, very interesting. It's called the graph, okay? It's, it's a protocol for building dApps on Ethereum and IBFS using GraphQL. We can use GraphQL to build uh, dApps on I Ethereum and IBFS. It's completely built with Rust, completely open source, and uh, it, it helps you, uh, to, to have data stores that can be queried by a GraphQL uh, endpoint. But what I wanna really show you is their website, which is really cool. And uh, and obviously the number of contributors, which is 87, it's a lot. Number of stars is a lot. Uh, they've been in, like, uh, they've been developing since quite some time, many years now, three years now, or four years now, sorry. And uh, what I wanna really, really wanna show you are the subgraph, which are essentially APIs for uh, Ethereum programs. So for example, Aave is uh, based on the Ethereum mainnet, Sushi Swap, right? Most of these programs, since uh, Graph has APIs, I mean, it's it's APIs for a vibrant decentralized future. So you have APIs for Ethereum on GraphQL and anybody can come here and deploy, like you can create your own subgraph here. Essentially APIs, which can be used for querying data for from Sushi Swap or Aave, uh, from Premia, you know, all of these things basically. So really cool. So I've shown you what one, two, three, four, five, six awesome projects which you probably you probably knew about, but maybe maybe some of you didn't know about, right? In case you know any awesome programs uh, projects that use Rust and are really really uh, amazing in the sense like they have they have like a lot of contributors, they have good documentation, they have a cool website, all of that stuff. If you if you know any of these projects, please let me know. Uh, Rust is really shaping the future for blockchains and Web3. It's become really important. So, you know, and, and obviously keep learning Rust with uh, me, you know, on my channel. Where do subscribe if in case you haven't. Do check out the 50 Rust project series. Do, do check out the 42 Golang project series on my uh, playlist. Playlists, okay. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.